Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Hi, welcome. Uh, so today's spied quest is something I promised in one of the reviews. Did you say spied quest? I was hoping nobody would notice. Okay. Yes. It's you know a, I will always notice. It's a snide quest. Okay. Um, and we're going to be talking about the Shin Megami Tensei series and the spinoffs because it's it's ridiculous is what it is. Uh, we are joined today with special guests. We have Chris. Hi. And we have Rachel. Hello. Rachel is actually one of the two people who bullied me into playing Persona 3 in the first place. It was Rachel and Russ bullying me. Yeah. Uh, we also mentioned Rachel when we were talking about um, Fire Emblem Three Houses, because mm-hmm. she, me, and Russ were playing it about at the same time. Yeah. Didn't we all play different houses? We did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So and it, that was not planned. No, it was, it was just, just based a on lot our of fun. own personality. So uh, I have done the research. I have gone through and compiled what may be a complete list. They might have released like 10 more in the month since mm-hmm. I typed up this, re- this list. So the Shin Megami Tensei series, very big in Japan. It started with a book. A guy wrote a book in the 80s, 90s about teenagers using computers to summon demons. As one does. That's what I used computers for in the 80s. I mean, yeah. Yeah. I mean, as a baby, but... I mean, really? that was when the satanic panic was going on. It was very popular. Summoning Demons was very popular in the 80s. Well, it was so popular, in fact, that it spawned 51 games so far. Yeah. So it started with the Megami Tensei series, which was high school kids summoning demons through computers. Summoning and controlling demons for fun and profit. There were two of those. Mm-hmm. On what system? Or oh, it was... I don't... PC? Oh, I don't... It was some kind of Japanese PC. Was it was pre NES. Okay. Some kind of proprietary oh, Japanese PC. Yeah, like old space, like Japanese PCs were often sold based on like the games that came with them, and they were exclusive to that PC. Huh. Then the series leveled up into Shin Megami Tensei, which is a sequel series, and these are, I think, these are around the Super Nintendo era. Mm. There are currently four of them. Although, like they ended up doing with Persona 2, there's 4, and then there's 4-2, which is a continuation of 4. So you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 2, and 5 is coming out in a couple months. You know, they almost did the, uh, the real numerical sequence that way, like that we use in regular life. Did they? Yeah, yeah. Then they decided, ah, oh, let's just make 4 go straight to 5. It sounds easier yeah. to me. Yeah. So the Shin Megami Tensei games are to my understanding they're not sequential like the story doesn't carry from one to the next but they all share the premise of japan was destroyed in a war with the demons like nuclear war japan is destroyed you are the messiah and you are going to choose the method by which you are going to rebuild japan chaos or order they, they come up with new dynamics to pick from one side versus the other in every game so that's that's the shin megami tensei series that's it that's the whole thing but then they're spinoffs I will tell you my favorite of the main series is 4-2, Shin Megami Tensei Apocalypse. This is very good. I haven't played any of them. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I have some, and we will eventually play what we can here. As of this moment in time, the fifth one is coming out. Yes, by the time this episode's released, the fifth one probably has come out. Is that just on the Switch? Or is it? I believe it is just Switch right now. Yes. Mm, okay. But by the time you're listening to this, it's probably on the PlayStation <laughs> 6. <laughs> so. There is a bit of a delay. So then they made a game called Shin Megami Tensei If, which is a what if F scenario of what if Japan wasn't destroyed in the Great Demon War? What would it be like to be a high school student in a world where demons are common? It was a one off game. The Persona series is a spinoff from that. So the Persona series is a spinoff of a spinoff of a sequel to the Megami Tensei series. And Persona has one, two, 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 three, four, and five right now. And Uh, probably still right now. It'll probably be 2035 before before we we get get Persona 6. And mm-hmm. I love Persona. Well, didn't I do. three have like the PFP or whatever, like the? Yes, that's one thing I did not keep track in here of remakes ah. and remasters because I would have lost my mind trying to keep track of yeah, that. Three I mean, had several versions. So yeah. many of these games True. have multiple versions, multiple re-releases with different stuff. Well, the PSP Persona Three PSP version is my favorite because you get to play as a girl. As a girl, <gasps> yes. yeah. Novel that's, concept. I know, what? Crazy. Yeah. That is crazy. Females in my video games. So Sorry if my Persona- utter utter and raw shock like caused peaks in the in the audio nah, you're fine. <laughs> so persona is a sequel of a sequel or a spinoff of a spinoff but it has so many spinoffs 
the Persona Q series, which has two games, which is an Etrian Odyssey style first yes. person dungeon crawler. Mm-hmm. I love Etrian Odyssey. Persona Arena, which are two fighting games, Japanese style fighting games set in the Persona. That game universe. made me so mad mm-hmm. because I want to be good at fighting games and I'm not good at fighting games, but it's Persona. I actually played them because you get story about what happened to characters from three and four yeah, after their that's games. That's what made me mad. Mm-hmm. I wanted to just have not have to play a fighting game. Persona yeah. dancing games for three, four, and five. So there's three dancing games. Rhythm, rhythm, boop, boop, boop. Exactly. Persona <laughs> five strikers, which Russ and I have talked about previously. At yeah, that's the soccer one. Uh, no. <laughs> no. Sounds like it should it be. It sounds like Unrelated it. to Mario <laughs> Strikers. Oh. It's more um, Dynasty Warriors. It's a Dynasty Warriors clone. Ex- and the best one. Like, yeah. the best of those Dynasty Warriors. Because most of them are, like, 50% okay. Dynasty Warrior, yeah. 50% whatever game they're doing. This one is 90% Persona and, like, 10% Dynasty right. Warrior. yeah. It really feels like a Persona game. It let me spend a lot more time with best girl Haru. Yes. <laughs> who is severely pe- neglected in Persona 5. Then we're back to just regular spinoffs of Shin Megami Tensei. That's as far down the Persona hole as there is. We have Devil Summoner 1 and 2, which is researching demon possession in Japan. That's basically the storyline of those. Why do the demons always go to Japan? Well, I mean, I would think the demons, as an American, would be pulled to America. The demons are already here. But that's true. For us, not everything yeah. is about us. We just can't see. It's where they came from. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it has pre- uh, two prequel games that I, I can't read. Oh, the Raido Kuzunoha games. Yes. Raido Kuzunoha uh, Jeff, versus, the versus the Soulless Army. Soulless Army and... and versus King Abaddon. I was pointing at you to do the name again, though. Oh, Raido Raido. Kuzunoha. Versus King Abaddon. I'm so, sorry to any actual Japanese speakers listening with me trying to This is why I make like you do it. You'll get the native mail. Japanese speaker, which I am not. Then there's Digital Dev- Devil Saga 1 and 2. You are infected with a demon virus. You're one of five tribes vying for control of the digital world. This is the, these are the games that actually got me into Shin Megami Tensei. The to Digital begin Devil Saga. Yes, I was. I tried to play Shin Megami Tensei three and was very intimidated by the level of difficulty and the summoning the demons and having to do all that. And then I and then Digital Devil Saga was more like what I call it of like the Final Fantasy of the or the Dragon Quest of the Shin Megami Tensei series, where you just have like a party and it's about the character development and stuff like that. Um, they're very good. I, I wish they would like re-release them somewhere. Well, they are completely different from the Devil Survivor series. They are d- different. Which Devil has Survivor. two games. Those mm-hmm. are strategic RPGs set in modern Japan where you can see people's lifespans, which means you can see if they're about to be killed by demons, and you can fight against demons to save their lives. No experience with that whatsoever, but I've heard of it. Yes. Then there's the Kids series for kids. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, the, of course. The, the kid-appropriate demon summoning mm-hmm. the last bible series which consists of revelations the demon slayer last bible 2 last bible 3 and last bible special see i've actually played two of those that's like my whole experience see I, shin yeah. megami tensei comes and gets you no matter where you are it really does were they were they really released in english do you know no. because i don't well, remember uh, if they the, really came out the Game Boy Color one, I think, did. Okay. Yes. I believe some of them I came feel out, like but not they like did. the whole yeah. order of yeah. them. Revelations, Last Bible, mm-hmm. and um, uh, the third one I actually just own on a Super Famicom cart. Okay. But since it's for kids, they're fighting monsters instead of demons. They yeah. just change the word. Just like in Persona, you're not fighting demons, you're fighting shadows. Because True, Persona's right. all about Jungian psychology, which yeah. I'm sure I talked about in the Persona review. Mm-hmm. So I'm not going to dive into it again here. Last Bible had two spinoff series. The Last Bible, New Testament, 1, 2, and 3. And Another Bible, which was an SRPG spinoff. So again, a spinoff of a spinoff of the s- sequel to the Megami Tensei series. Then we have the Devil Children series, which consists of Black Book and Red Book, White Book, Light Version and Dark Version, and Book of Fire and Book of Ice. Are the, are the I think I'm right about this is that the Devil Children games in English are called Demi Kids. 
I believe that's And correct. there's a Dimmy Kids, like, light version and shadow version or something, and they were for the Game Boy Advance. I remember them when I worked at Hastings in college. It's demon-human hybrids fighting other demons on yeah. Earth. And it has two spinoff series. The Puzzle de Call, which is a puzzle game, and Messiah Razor, Riser, which is a real-time strategy game. Messiah Riser. Messiah Riser. I think church as a child would have been much more engaging for me. In Japan. If... Well, if we had played a game called Messiah Riser (laughs) as part of the service. definitely sounds like when, like, yeah, the 90s when they were trying to get kids, like, really into religion, Mm -hmm. like, a comic book. Messiah Riser is like a Christian rock band. (laughs) It's only you can rise the Messiah. Um, All right, we're almost there. Now, then there's the Majin Tensai series, which consists of Majin Tensai 1, 2, Ronde, Blind Thinker 1, Blind Thinker 2. Messiah Riser. Blind Thinker is the debut album from Messiah Riser. (laughs) (laughs) See, I thought you said Grande, and then I was like, oh, so the next one's going to be Vente? (laughs) (laughs) Apparently, it's an SRPG series focused on fusing demons together. I'm into that. So basically, any demon-related game out of Japan is probably related to this series. Here's my favorite. It's one that I actually have played. And Russ played this I one. Play, yeah, I yeah. know what you're saying. This, I played this too. Jack Brothers, which was a maze crawler for the Virtual Boy. Yeah. When I rented a Virtual Boy as a child, I got Mario Tennis and Jack Brothers. And then had problems with my eyesight for the rest of my life. I was about to say. <laughs> That's why you're wearing glasses. I wear glasses today, because thanks to the Virtual Boy. I rented a Virtual Boy once, but I had Red Alert, Tolero Boxer, and Mario Tennis. You could rent that Those thing? Those are really good. Yeah, Blockbuster mm-hmm. would rent you an entire Virtual Boy. We actually owned one. And uh, by the way, it's Mario's Tennis. Oh. It's the only Mario Tennis game that's called Mario's Tennis is the first one. He I apologize, Mario. <laughs> I did not realize you owned it. Yeah. yeah. He owns he owns the entire, well, at least on the Virtual Boy. It's Mario's Tennis. You're just <laughs> borrowing it. <laughs> <laughs> Which is the only way a Virtual Boy should be played. Yeah. What do you do in... Jacked Boys? What? Jack Brothers. Jack Brothers. Oh. You can play <laughs> Jack Frost Boys, the or Pyro Jack. sophomore album from <laughs> yes. Messiah Riser. You play as Jack Frost or Pyro Jack, and it is a, it's a, it's a maze dungeon crawler where you're going further and further down, just fighting enemies uh, as you yeah. continue to go down this maze. Okay. You have a time limit to get to the bottom of the maze and fight the end boss. I'm and the time limit. I'm just thinking about it because of the virtual boy. Yeah, the time limit is permanent retinal damage i've played it on an child. emulator which obviously doesn't have the whole 3d effect but it's a perfectly fine game it's fine yeah and there's only one left we've gone through all of them almost uh and russ you're the expert on this one tokyo mirage sessions no. uh sharp <laughs> fe yeah it, my favorite of all the, i say sarcastically <laughs> um this was the one that i was really excited about when they said we're going to do a fire emblem Shin Megami Tensei crossover and I thought oh cool so it's gonna be like Fire Emblem but your units are gonna be like the demons and then it was no the no, game about idols and Americans getting angry because they edited out the, the main character's bones. vagina bone yes. as they called it vagina bone on the cover there's Just a like, shot of, she's in a skimpy outfit yeah. and uh-huh. you can kind of see the definition see like pelvic, leading uh, the pelvic bone yeah. yeah and on the American mm-hmm. version they made it so you couldn't see the definition they just smoothed it out and people lost their mind online complaining that they were censoring the vagina bones. Yeah. And there's a whole dungeon that's... Because I actually played the game and hated it. I have not. I played it. And there's a whole dungeon... Because you're kind of doing like you do in Persona where there's like bad people and you're going into their hearts to change their hearts or whatever. And one of them is like a gravure photographer that takes like girly photos for Japanese girly magazines. But in the censored American version... It, he's making teenage girls just wear like ugly punky Brewster clothes <laughs> <laughs> so instead of the, bikinis. The so you're like running around it. the dungeon and there are these pictures in the Japanese version of like teenage girls in bikinis all over the wall. But in the American version, they're just wearing like bad, the worst nineties clothes like, you could bad think of. grunge. Oh man. <laughs> so the, the notes I have for it are idols and models summon fire emblem characters instead of demons. Yeah, that's true. And and what's really disappointing is that the Fire Emblem characters are not even as you would recognize them in the Fire Emblem games. So it's a Fire Emblem crossover if you squint. Yeah, Krom is like a is like a weird ghost. And I mean they call him Krom, but who knows? 
So that's what I've got for the Shin Megami Tensei series as it stands now. I mean, I feel like I, I thought I had played a lot of them, but now I don't. You yeah. played all 51? Because I played all the Personas, and I've played, like, three of the main games, and I've played Tokyo Mirage Sessions. I haven't played any of the main games. And I played the Araido Kozunoha games. As I played those as well. But uh, as Home on the RNG goes on, we will play more of these. Yeah, it's true. Because you will subject me to every jrpg there is that's bad the or good that's the plan yes. um so that's all i have for this unless anybody else has some closing thoughts on the shin Megami tensei series now everybody get out your papers there's going to be a quiz yes yeah <laughs> which game series is it that was for kids something bible it messiah kids. Did, well <laughs> and <laughs> last the last messiah bible was apparently for kids <laughs> messiah riser all right that's all we got for today guys uh thank you very much for listening we will see you, you next time